Hi everyone, I'm Braden Miter with the Allegheny County Park Rangers and today I'm here to talk to you about spotted lanternflies. You've probably seen some spotted lanternflies in this area over the past couple years. They're very easily identifiable. They have gray wings with spots on them and when they open up they have some bright red coloration inside. These species are invasive to our area and they are detrimental to the ecology and the economy of Allegheny County and the surrounding areas. So this time of year, we're not going to see spotted lanternflies out and about. It's far too cold, that part of their life cycle is over. But from September through the beginning of May, we are gonna look for the spotted lanternfly egg casing. Now, when we see the spotted lanternfly egg casing out in the wild, we're gonna be looking for about an inch and a half long structure. It's kind of oval shaped, and it looks like a smear of gray or brown mud. And that's a protective casing that's protecting about 50 eggs inside. And this time of year, we can be proactive to help eliminate the spread of the invasive spotted lanternfly by removing those egg casings. Now the important thing whenever removing spotted lanternfly egg casings is that we make sure we're identifying those egg casings correctly and not confusing them with native species like the wheel bug or the Carolina mantid. Once you've learned how to positively identify a spotted lanternfly egg mass, the next step is to go out and find them. The female spotted lanternfly will lay her eggs on outdoor surfaces that are smooth, flat, and usually vertical. This can be the host trees, like Tree of Heaven, also red maple, silver maple, and willows, but many times they can be found on structures like homes, walls, posts, or even vehicles. Now 98% of the spotted lanternfly trees are gonna be up inside the tree canopy and they're gonna be very difficult to reach. We don't recommend going after those because it's not really safe. So we should focus on ones that are lower to the ground and that might be on things that we find out around our homes. One of the most important things are looking at our vehicles. If we're going to travel anywhere that's outside of the range that the spotted lanternfly already exists within Allegheny County or within other states. You can check all around your vehicle, but one of the most important spots to take a look at is with inside your wheel wells, because they're a little bit harder to see, but they do have a nice smooth surface that are very good for spotted lanternflies to lay eggs on. Now, after you've identified the egg mass, you've found them out in the wild, the important part is how to properly and safely eradicate them. So now that we've learned how to identify the egg masses and where to find them, the next step is figuring out how to safely remove them. And it's very simple. You only really need a couple of tools, one being a rigid plastic card um, or a small plastic putty knife, something that you can use to scrape the egg masses off, but not that's not gonna mar or damage the surfaces that you're working with. Then you just need a little jar of rubbing alcohol and maybe a little piece of paper to scrape the eggs into if they're kind of in a tight spot. What we'll do is scrape the eggs off of the surface place them in the jar of rubbing alcohol, and that will kill the eggs inside. The important thing is we don't wanna just scrape them off a surface and leave them on the ground because they still could hatch. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna to have more videos about how to manage spotted lanternflies throughout all of their life cycles coming up in the future. But in the meantime, if you would like to learn more about spotted lanternflies and how to manage them, check out Penn State Extension's website that has a variety of information about invasive species management and specifically managing spotted lanternflies. Mm -hmm.